Hello and welcome to Smart Money. I am your host Ibrahim Sani. The hottest phone in the market, the Honor 8 last week received the best consumer smartphone recognition at the European Imaging and Sound Association Award or ISA. And the award is an illustration of Honor's emphasis on quality innovation and successful open collaboration on delivering some world-class devices with the best user experience for consumers. The Honor 8 is powered by the powerful Kirin 960 chipset and large 6GB of RAM and was put through a comprehensive multi-step judging process which was intensely, intensively tested at the facilities of the individual ISA member magazines. ISA is the world's largest independent collaboration of experts in multimedia technologies and offers a very unique global viewpoint of the consumer electronics market. So joining me to discuss this and more is the head of Honor uh, Malaysia, uh, Mr. Zhao Ziwei. Uh, welcome to the show, uh, Zhao. Hi. Let's start with the whole branding of yeah. Honor 8 in the okay. first place. What is the difference between Honor 8 and Honor phones with Huawei? Okay, actually, to be honest with you guys, uh, Huawei and Honor brand under all under Huawei Group, actually, since uh, 2014, Honor already separated. So. Right now, we can see Honor is not a sub-brand of Huawei. We are really a two-brand, and we grow together very rapidly. Do you, th does it mean that Honor is now targeting a specific consumer market right now, as different from Huawei? Uh, in terms of the target audience, Huawei and Honor has really different group of target. We, let's say uh, Honor. Uh, Honor right now, we're targeting uh, Malaysia always on group. means that uh, they are very digital native, and they have a... Very young attitude of their lifestyle, and also they are young at heart. I mean that maybe my grandma also have a young heart. He, he, she is also a honor target audience. Yeah. The the thing that distinguishes Honor phones with the rest out there is mm. the powerful Kirin 960 chipset powered by a six gigabyte of RAM. Now, this yeah. is key yeah. because not many smartphones have a six yeah. gig of RAM. Yeah. Does this mean that you're targeting, say, for instance, the gaming sector as well? Actually, for Honor brand. Uh, our slogan is uh, for the brave. Means if you have any uh, brave attitude on the lifestyle, including gaming, uh, music, sport, or even techie, you can also find your proper owner product in your life. We can also provide not just a product itself, but also a life attitude or your li a lifestyle partner to your. Again, mm. Could you describe to me more about yeah. this lifestyle partner? How can a smartphone? be part of that lifestyle kind of uh, okay. gig? Uh, if you think that lifestyle, it means that because we are the phone manufacturer, so it really finally comes to the phone itself. Uh, Honor's device, like you said, that we won the ESA uh, award, which is very famous in the, in the world, because of we got the il uh, illustration that we provide device with the quality, with the innovation, and also with the experience. So all this, Three factor is our fundamental of our success. With this three kind of factor, it support our marketing language for the brave to the consumer. How much R and D is spent into this? Not just in terms of money, but in terms of effort, energy, time. How much? How, how is this different from the say Huawei phones? Okay, uh, for the owner, actually before owner is uh, belong Huawei, uh, we almost whole the company has more than ten years uh, experience to developing the smartphone. Uh, for Honor, normally we will, because Honor also under the hard group, normally uh, we will uh, dedicate 15% of our total revenue worldwide to engage into the R&D. And uh, right now we have 16 R&D center or in the world, and also we have close to 18,000 uh, uh, employee in indicated to do the R&D jobs. With this in mind, is Malaysia a key uh, market for yeah. Honor to pursue? Uh, yes. Right. Uh, 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 this means that uh, not only are you targeting a specific target segment, you're also specific, specifically targeting the market of Malaysia. Uh, it's not about the product itself. It's about that how we want to provide the solution to our target audience. Like I say that, the digital native is uh, in Malaysia is our target audience. So if the target audience wants from the uh, uh, flagship segment, to entry level segment, we all have the portfolio to cover all the segments, what they need. All right, yeah. so we'll take a short break, but coming up next, more on the Honor 8 phones. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to Smart Money with me, Ibrahim Sani. Today, we're talking about the spectacular phones of uh, Honor. And joining me is the head of Honor 8 Malaysia. Sorry, head of Honor Malaysia, uh, Zhao Ziwei. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the phones. This is the uh, eighth version of the Honor phones. What happened to the earlier predecessors? Uh, is it uh, going to be uh, discontinued? Uh, let me uh, correct you first. It's Honor 8 Pro. Yeah, Honor 8 actually is the old model that we launched before. Ah, okay, yeah. right. Yeah. So with the Honor 8 Pro being launched, uh, mm. does this mean that the earlier models will now be discontinued? Uh, it's not really. Actually, uh, Malaysia is the first uh, important country uh, out of uh, China we explore in the overseas market. So uh, is that means that uh, every year we continuously, uh, continuously to launch the flagship model from entry level, middle level to uh, high end level. But when we launch the new model like uh, Honor 8 Pro, uh, it doesn't mean that we will cut the life cycle of the old model because if the customer, if our target audience still needs the device, we will continuously to provide, to offer them. Uh, we just uh, slightly uh, focus on the new model, what we launch. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, the, the focus right now will yeah. be quite uh, tight. The, the consumer segment for smartphone businesses is extremely competitive. Mm. Um, how do you see this uh, uh, winning this, this consumer war? Okay, uh, yeah, as you know that right now the, the smart mobile uh, market is almost full and a lot of uh, uh, brand come and go, but uh, how the owner can be very competitive or can be very famous in this, uh, like I say, the first important country in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So I think the first thing that is product itself because like I say, product, quality, innovation and experience is what we really embedded in our product. And the second thing is we want to we keep engage with our fans, which honor fans. We have uh, honor club. Uh, we have our uh, social like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, etc. And also we keep we keep uh, expanding a lot to build the closer relationship with our uh, fans, also with the digital natives. What who is our target audience? The key proponent for consumer products is, of course, price. Yeah. Uh, do you think that this phone is priced accordingly uh, within the segment that you're gunning for? Uh, price is the one of the factors that we're marketing in our product. Mm -hmm. Like I say that, firstly, we have to for sure that the device really can provide some extra value to their uh, lifestyle. Like for example, uh, Honor 8 Pro, it's, uh, it have a 5.7 inch and also have, like you say, 6 gig RAM also have a 4,000 mini ampere battery, also have a 2K screen, uh, can also have a inbox VR goggles. That all that what we offer to the consumer is, we want to show that this is a total solution for them uh, to inter uh, entertainment, like the gaming. Also, thinkly is that we also collaborate with our uh, industrial partner uh, to build a more business development together to provide extra value, not only device, not only the function, but also like uh, music content, uh, gaming content, also even in the future we have a techie content, uh, like an ecosystem, we also push to our uh, always digital native. All right, uh, yeah. uh, in China, of course, the smartphone market there, Huawei is dominating the, uh, the market there. Yes, yeah. um, and this is the first time uh, Huawei is taking lead the uh, pole position in terms of uh, uh, capturing the market there. Yeah. Uh, one can argue that with a population of 1.4 billion, that is a large enough market to focus on. Uh, does this mean that Huawei is poised into trying to becoming the number one mobile phone player in the world? Uh, actually, we are not only focused on the place or ranking, but we focus on where is our success. Yeah. So right now, uh, Honor is the number one online sales brand in China. And uh, even we have our online platform we call Vivo. Uh, Vivo, uh, Vimo, sorry. Vimo is the top five uh, online platform in the world. So with these two achievements, we have more confidence to get a higher target of, from this year. In the uh, what's the expectations of the near future within the end of the year? Can we expect something uh, interesting coming in from uh, Honor 8 Pro? Uh, yeah, actually Honor 8 Pro, uh, the worldwide of the Honor 8 Pro, the sales uh, hit millions already after it has been launched in April this year, but uh, in Malaysia, because we just launched last month, so right now, up to now, we see a very steady growth, li growth line of the 
uh, sales of this product. So we have very confident that uh, this model can hit a um, higher target until end of this year, even next year. And do you think that these uh, intentions of yours to create this community and this, this terms of collaboration, this club so-called, do you think yeah. that this will take foot uh, very soon? Yes, of course. Actually, it's kind of activities. We continuously to doing it uh, until uh, before and after. So this is like our, because owner value is uh, spirit, is value for customer. That we, what we're thinking every day, every minute, is how we provide more value to our customer. So like you say that the fan base, also like the partner, also our retail partner, our up, up front, and then the dot front up, uh, partner, we all want to uh, build a value to them. This is the, what we call the value ecosystem. Yeah. Right, Zhao, it's been a pleasure having a chat with you. I've been speaking to Zhao Aziwe, the head of Honor Malaysia. But that's all for this week's Smart Money. Send me your feedback on all our social media platforms. Follow us at Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at 501Awani. I'm Ibrahim Sani. Thanks for watching and goodbye.